This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the propagation of uncertainties. In an experiment to measure the enthalpy change of a reaction, the following quantitative data was collected. The volume of water in the calorimeter was 50.0 plus or minus 0.5 centimeters cubed. Three trials were conducted and the initial temperature and the maximum temperature of the water were recorded. By subtracting the initial temperature from the maximum temperature, the change in temperature of the water was calculated. The absolute uncertainty of the thermometer was plus or minus 0.5 degrees C. When adding or subtracting measured values, the absolute uncertainties are added together. So this gives us an absolute uncertainty for the change in temperature of the water of plus or minus 1.0 degrees C. Next, we will calculate the average temperature change of the water. So the change in temperature of the water for each trial is added together and divided by 3. This gives us an average temperature of 7.2 degrees C. Including the uncertainty, the average change in temperature of the water is 7.2 plus or minus 1.0 degrees C. Next, we will calculate the heat released in the reaction using the equation Q equals mc delta T. m is the mass of the water in the calorimeter, which is 50.0 grams. c is the specific heat capacity of water, which is 4.18. And delta T is the average change in temperature, which is 7.2. When multiplied together, this gives us a value of Q of 1,504.8 joules. In this equation, the least precise value is the average change in temperature of the water. This value has two significant figures, which means our value of Q must also be written to two significant figures. So when written using scientific notation, the value for the heat released is 1.5 times 10 to the 3 joules. Next, we will propagate the uncertainties. The absolute uncertainty in the temperature is plus or minus 1.0 degrees C. To convert to percentage uncertainty, we divide the absolute uncertainty by the measured value and we multiply by 100, which gives us 14%. The absolute uncertainty in the volume of the water is plus or minus 0.5 centimeters cubed. So convert to percentage uncertainty gives us 1%. We then add together the percentage uncertainties to give us a total percentage uncertainty of 15%. So now we can quote our value of Q as 1.5 times 10 to the 3 joules plus or minus 15%. We can also convert back to absolute uncertainty. So we divide the percentage uncertainty by 100 and then we multiply by 1500, which is the value of Q. This gives us an absolute uncertainty of 180 joules. So finally, we can now write our value of Q, the heat released in the reaction, as 1.5 times 10 to the 3 plus or minus 180 joules. In this example, the absolute uncertainty is written to the same number of significant figures as our value for Q.